Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. I'm creating a painting of my favorite superhero of all time, Wonder Woman. It's so hard not to love her, she's kind of the epitome of everything I want to be, so I finally decided to paint her, which I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and here we are! I'm working with oil on Strathmore canvas paper, and to start off I created a monochromatic underpainting using raw umber, also oil paint, and diluting it with Gamzol to create a watercolor-like consistency. This is just the foundation and sort of the skeleton of the painting that I'm going to build upon, and I do have a video all about underpaintings if you'd like to know more information about it, I will be sure to link it in the description. Also, stick around till the end of the video because I have a mini life update and a special art store discount code for you. So here I'm mixing some of the major color groups I'm seeing in my reference for the skin tones, the armor, the tiara, um, basically all the major color groups. It's kind of difficult to mix every single color you will need, which is why I include the paint that's straight out of the tubes above my mixed colors. That way I can alter them and tweak them as I need them, and that way I have so many more colors to work with. And here they are on my palette after I finished mixing them. I just love how inviting and crisp they all look. It just makes me want to get started on the painting right away. But don't worry, it's going to turn into complete chaos after I get into this painting. And so right now I'm just laying down all the colors as I see them and I'm not focusing on detail right away. I usually never do. I always save the details for last. So at this point I'm creating the first color layer and just trying to get as much of the figure covered as I can. That way I can build on it further with the next layers to come after the first layer dries. My first color layers never look perfect. They're always a little bit wonky, features might be a little bit off, and that's totally okay. I'm going to correct that further into the painting. I try not to focus too much on the details at the very beginning. And that's just how I like to paint. That's not the only or best way to approach a painting. There's so many different ways you can go about it. Some people like to detail everything right from the beginning and just get all that done chunk by chunk at the start of a painting, whereas I leave it all for last. There's so many different ways to approach a painting, so don't assume that I'm trying to say this is the best way, because it's not. It's just what works best for me, and something completely different could work best for you. I have to admit, I was quite intimidated when it came to painting the tiara and her armor. I've never really painted anything metallic before or that shiny, I guess, not in such a large portion of a painting, maybe like a small detail I have, but not when it's such a major focal point to a character or a subject. So that was a little bit intimidating, but in the end I was pretty happy with how it turned out. And again, all of this is just me laying down the first color layer. I do end up detailing the armor and the tiara and all those things later on into the painting. What you can't tell in the painting time lapse is that I've already had multiple sittings with this painting, so this is not me just sitting down one time and painting all of this. I've left the painting multiple times, probably like five or six times, let different areas dry, came back to them, and just built on it very gradually. And again, this is just how I prefer to paint. I like to switch my attention around and work on other pieces in between and work on different sections of the painting. So there's really no exact formula that I follow when it comes to each portrait. I just paint very intuitively and do it based on what my brain is interested in at the time. 
So as you can see, I've been polishing up the details on the subject, trying to get the armor shinier, the face proportions looking more accurate, adding some highlights and gradients and doing some glazing. And now I'm working on the background. I decided to leave the background to be more abstract and painty. So lots of thick brush strokes, really no detail there. I just wanted to get a little crazy with it as I've been doing with some of my recent paintings because I've just spent so much time focusing on really detailed oil paintings and they take forever so it's really fun to just be a little bit looser with the brush strokes and combine abstraction with realism and I decided to go with the red and blue colors that are so traditional for Wonder Woman as well as the colors that are on her armor so I just you know had the red at the top and kind of fading into the blues at the bottom and then just sort of intertwining and meshing in a way at this point in the painting, all there was really left to do once the background was complete was to finish the hair, which looks quite messy and I wanted it to be more detailed and precise, not quite so incomplete looking as it does right now. So you'll see me working on that in a moment here. Originally, I had this painting in a grayish blue frame because that was all I could find near me in that specific size. However, I didn't think it was a good match, so I painted it gold, and I think it made such a big difference and looks so much better than before. So here is the finished painting in the hand-painted gold frame. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting time lapse of my favorite superhero ever. Also, fun life update. I'm married now. Yay! And in honor of that, I'm putting some originals into my art store, lenadanyastore.com, as well as a discount code. So if you enter off the market at checkout, it will take 20% off your entire print order. My husband and I paid for our wedding entirely by ourselves. Our parents did not pay for it. So I'm doing a little sale to hopefully help make up for some of those expenses. Thank you so much for supporting my art. I'm wishing you all a beautiful and inspiring day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!